Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to more Beekeeping Basics. Okay, so uh, in this video we're going to take some of the sugar syrup that we made in the preceding video and we've come over to one of our apiary sites and we're going to put a couple of rapid feeders onto uh, some of the colonies here and they're a little bit low on stores so we're just going to top them up and we've also got some nucleus colonies here that we've doubled up and we're going to overwinter them as nucleus colonies um, together and we're just going to put a couple of feeders onto those and the feeders that we use are fantastic uh, to use with nucleus colonies because you can feed two colonies at the same time uh, without any problem of bees getting through to each other and maybe uh, fighting uh, so we're going to get the smoker lit and then we'll head over to the colonies and get the feeders on Okay, so this colony uh, needs a little bit of food and we've got one of our large uh, rapid feeders here. So what we have is a large container with a few cobwebs um, and two entrances up into the food uh, which are ribbed so the bees can actually crawl up without slipping around. Uh, we'll put the feed into the container and just dribble some into the two entrances and then the bees will come up and, and take the feeder down. Um, we find these feeders are fantastic for getting um, large amounts of food into bees really quickly so we use these in preference to to any other. Um, so it's simply a case of taking and we're going to use about half a bucket of food here which is about five kilos of sugar syrup it's still warm um, so the bees will take that down quite quickly it should be gone in a few days and we'll come back and check uh, we just need to level the hive off just to balance that out but it's as simple as that and um, if you want to get your bees through the winter then I thoroughly recommend checking that they've got sufficient food in the colony and topping up the feed with sugar syrup using a rapid feeder and then all we do is pop the roof on top of that that's the hive number and then the roof simply slides over the top and they're, they're fine okay so here we've got two nukes that we moved to this position a few days ago and what we're going to do is we're going to overwinter these nukes in their nuke boxes they're five frame commercial nuke boxes um, we got these particular ones from a company called Solway Beekeeping Supplies who are a fantastic bunch of guys and uh, thoroughly recommend them um, and the beauty of these is that we can um, square them together remove the, the roofs and, and tighten them up so that two nukes combine to the same footprint as either a national or a commercial beehive and so what it means is we can then use one of our standard green rapid feeders and a standard roof on top of it strap them together so that they're held securely and they'll keep each other warm through the winter so it's a fantastic way of maintaining the core temperature within the two nucleus colonies uh, over winter rather than having a single colony that's struggling to maintain uh, that warmth that they need combined what will happen is that they'll gradually bring the brood nest to a central position which is the inner side of their brood uh, of their nuke box and, and in the spring when we split them open the brood nest will form um, a section against one wall the inner wall so we'll uh, we'll take the roofs off and get them set up and then we'll show you how we put the feeder on and set them up for the winter Okay, so here we've got our two nukes, different colours, so the bees can find their way back. The entrance to this one is this hole here, and on the other nuke, the black nuke, there's an entrance on the reverse side, so the bees know where they're going to go. And if I just pop the top off here, we've got um, five frames, uh, and they're a commercial size frame. Um, and so it's a larger size than a national. Uh, 
as you can see we've got these little crime boards that have this ridge in the middle and then the feeders that we use have a corresponding ridge along the middle as well so the bees this will be facing down towards the bees and the bees can go up to the food but they can't get across into the neighbouring nuke box so they're effectively separated and so we'll just pop this down on top and then if I take the top off here you can see that we've got the two separate feeders and the bees will come up through the middle and they'll be separated continuously because of these domes. Uh, we're just going to pop some feed in and um, then we'll be able to leave them to settle down for the winter. Okay so we're just going to top this up with some sugar syrup. This is still quite warm so it's a bit sloppy so I just have to be a little bit careful about the way you pour it in. So this is a heavy sugar syrup which is one kilo of sugar to 630 mils of water and we've given them about three quarters of a bucket which equates to around seven seven to eight kilos of syrup and we'll just dribble some down so the bees know where to go and they'll happily come up into that and take it down to store for the winter. Okay, so that's everything uh, put to bed. We obviously can't now reuse the original nuke roofs, but as I mentioned earlier, it's now the ideal footprint to take a standard national roof or a commercial roof, and that fits over there perfectly. So really apart from checking the feed and topping that up we're all sorted now so um, job done okay well i hope you found that of interest um, please do subscribe if you haven't already um, i'm really grateful to everyone that has subscribed um, give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch up with you in the next video thanks for watching <laughs>